readers and followers, Tuvai. My name is Anna Mankowska, and I'm a scout leader with the Polish Scouting Organization of Michigan. It's a part of the Polish Scouting Organization in the United States known as Wielzek Harcerstwa Polskiego. I was invited to say a few words today about Polish Scouting and its campgrounds at a place called Białowieża on Downington Road in Satellite County, just west of M25 Lakeshore Drive near Lake Huron. It's about 40 miles north of Port Huron. Last Sunday on September 22nd, we celebrated 60 years since the first camp building was erected on the grounds. All these years it has richly served the scouting organization and Polonia since 1964. It was a very happy occasion. Polish Scouting Organization is a part of a worldwide scouting movement. Our program is similar in its uh, goals and activities. However, Polish Scouting here in the United States incorporates an added dimension. It's for young people of Polish heritage living outside of Poland. And the program has been adopted to all adapted to also instill knowledge, skills, and a pride in Polish culture and language. It helps young persons to maintain a link to their families, homeland, and their roots. So when did Polish scouting actually start? The scouting movement was started and partitioned Poland back in 1910 by Andrzej and Olga Małkowski. Based on the scouting program promoted by the English Lord, Robert Baden-Powell. The skills and various values the program offered became very popular among Polish youth then. In time, what they learned played an important role in preparing Polish scouts to help fight to regain Polish independence during and after World War I, and then again during World War II, when young scouts engaged in a courageous, and patriotic effort to help its country's survival. Holy Scouting strongly emphasized devotion to God, to country, to honor, along with gaining valuable knowledge and skills and practicing virtue. However, after World War II, when the Iron Curtain fell and a communist government was imposed on Poland, Millions of Polish war survivors sought refuge in the United States and other countries. This became the Polish diaspora. There they decided to establish a free scouting organization as they knew in pre-war Poland, one not influenced by communist control. It first happened in 1949 in Chicago when the first Polish scouting organization was founded. Then, in the early 1950s, this effort established Polish scouting in Michigan and in other areas of large population of Polonia around the United States. Currently, the U.S. Polish Scouting Organization officially has 12 auxiliary chapters throughout the United States, very active ones. The founders of the post-World War II scouting movement in the United States had the goal of promoting scouting ideals, its methods of teaching, its values, and promoting the scouting movement experience. Young scouts can also strengthen their Polish language and familiarity with their Polish culture and heritage which enables them to gain a grounding and a pride in their Polish roots. Of course, of course, scouting promotes bonds of friendship among young people. The shared experience is further promoted when young scouts can travel to other venues, other states, at Polish camps, and at scouting jamborees. A world jamboree of Polish scouting just took place this summer in Raven Knob, North Carolina. It was organized by the U.S. Holy Scouting Organization 
who hosted 1,100 Polish scouts from Poland and other countries. My own participation in, in a jamboree known as a Zlot took place in 1960. It was the first one organized by U.S. Polish scouting. I was a young 12-year-old Polish scout, Girl Scout and very green. It took place here in Michigan in a place called Yankee Springs. Lasting three weeks, 500 scouts, young and old, took part in a very memorable gathering. This was my first camping experience, and it was very challenging and eye-opening, an experience I grew to appreciate more as I grew older. Polish scouting in Michigan really came into its own in the 1960s, when a group of Polish immigrants, immigrants purchased land in Michigan's thumb area near Lake Huron to have a permanent camping ground for Polish scouts. It was named Białowieża, after the beautiful forest reserve and national park in Poland. This was a risky move to invest in almost 100 acres by persons who were still, in reality, building a new life in this country. Let me explain a little how this came about. Since I and my family have somewhat of a historical connection to these early pioneers of the Białowieża campgrounds. In the 50s and 60s, Polish immigrant families ventured to build small summer cottages along Lake Huron, often quite primitive and rustic, but these provided a small summer cottage near Lake, um, uh, in a retreat for family and friends. Eventually, my family purchased a cottage in the area as well. We already knew each other from Polish scouting in Detroit, but time spent each summer encouraged friendships to grow. And time included, it included our children and grandchildren. Among these family summer vacationers were families like the Moszczyckis, the Wadaks, the Straukowskis, Gazdaika, and others. This area of Forester Township near Lake Huron became a popular Polish retreat destination because of its easy reach from Detroit. And so it happened in 1963 that from among these early, early Polish settlers in the area of Downington Road, who also valued the Polish scouting experience for their children, the idea to purchase a scout campground was born, and the first investors were found. Once the land was secured with the small savings uh, donated by the early founders, a campaign was initiated among Detroit's Polonia to contribute and to support it. In 1964, a camp building was erected. The children of the investors and Michigan's Polish youth could now spend time camping on the beautiful grounds of Białowieża to further experience as Polish scouts. Since that time, thousands of youngsters have passed through Białowieża's camping experience. Personally, when I became a scouting instructor in the 1980s, I led a Polish Brownie Scout troop in Hamtramck. And for over 20 years, I helped to organize <clears throat> and lead Brownie Scout camps, known as Kolonia in Białowieża. My own children were raised in the scouting organization, and they always insist that their best and lasting friendships grew out of that experience and time spent at Białowieża. As I remained in scout leadership through the years, I too always felt a bond with Białowieża. This past Sunday, at the annual Polish Scouting Picnic, which opens a new year of Polish Scouting in Michigan, an abundant crowd gathered of young and old to celebrate 60 years of Białowieża's beautiful camp building known as the Stanitsa. The building has changed over, years, over the years. It's improved with additions and renovations and made more functional. All this was thanks to the many volunteers to carry out work, their professional expertise, their vision, and the generous material support from Polonia. Recently, we were blessed with ongoing renovation grants 
from the Polish government. These improvements have helped Białowieża to better serve our Polish scouting program in Michigan and broaden its service also to the U.S. Polish Scouting Organization and to scouts in other countries. It is helping to make it a unique destination point for Polonia. Just for next summer, inquiries are being made by Polish scouts in California, Great Britain, Poland, all wanting to come here for a mutual camping experience with the scouts in Michigan at Białowieża. The Białowieża campground allows young and old to get away from today's world of technology, the hurried pace and frequent unhealthy influences, to spend time at peace with nature and to avail oneself of scouting's educational program, which gives a chance to be challenged, to build various skills and confidence, to strengthen bonds of friendship and Polish ties. Through this program, we strive to help parents find a balance for their children between the modern world's pressures and the nurturing of scouting ideals, of brotherhood and service, and the satisfaction in achieving a job well done. All such efforts endeavor to build character, and any scouting success can help lead to success in future life. Polar Scouting works with parents to enable such success. What truly impressed me about the Polish Scouting celebration last Sunday in Białowieża was the competent organization of the event demonstrated by its young leadership, a new generation. And moreover, it was the beautiful working together of everyone, the scouts, the leaders, the parents, and past members along with new, all working hard to make the event successful encouraging us all to continue the accomplishments achieved already at Białowieża well into the future, all for the sake of our youth. I believe that this inspiring scouting instructor and first devoted director of the campground, the late Zdzisław Jahulski, was smiling down on us at Białowieża last Sunday with pride and much satisfaction. Thank you, and I hope We'll have occasion to meet at Piel Vieja sometime very soon. 